Welcome back to Gem and Cozy, guys. We will be packing June stationery rewards together, and the concept for this month is ocean themed. I, for some reason, always forget to film intros, so I got a bunch of packages all at once with all of these goodies inside. Let's start unpacking all of this first. So I just got a bunch of packages and I wanted to unbox them with you guys. I got the sticker sheets updated and also restocked so the you are capable of so mush mini mushies are back in stock and I only bought 25 of these when I first started because I really don't know like you know how people are going to respond to my new designs but the mini mushies tend to do well so that actually is basically sold out so I got 50 more of them which is kind of scary because there's this weird limbo where sometimes like a product does really well and then you restock it and you get a lot of it thinking it, it looks like it's doing well and then all of a sudden it slows down so it's hard to say but I'm hoping that I can also put this up for wholesale so I bought 50 of them and then I got new squad ghouls invisible ghosties and these are clear stickers if you guys haven't seen it yet I love these so much but I decided to upgrade them got 50 of those these are also almost sold out I think I only have seven left of the other version and that version also has tiny ghosties on the bottom but the font here was bigger so I decided to make that update so that is that I mean I'm I'm just so proud of myself for doing this i know it seems so simple but like designing all of this took me a really long time and formatting the files was very time consuming so so glad that i did that i also got the stickers for this month's stationery club so i wanted to actually show myself unboxing them i tested out a different supplier i print with jukebox print a lot and I decided to test out their sticker quality because I've heard really good things. Ooh, look how nice this stack is. Oh, oh my gosh. Moment of truth, guys, just, just wait. Oh my gosh. <laughs> They're so cute. So here is the whale 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 if it isn't the consequences of my actions. This is actually a really great size for like a laptop. And then this is my first spicy sticker, snarky sticker for Stationery Club. It says I'm a ray of fucking sunshine. Dun dun dun. I thought it would be so funny if I did a play on words with that concept because I've seen that quote. But I've never seen anyone do it with something else other than a sun. So when I was thinking about concepts around ocean theme and, you know, punny things, because I like that, this came to mind and I was like, oh, let me draw a little ray. And he has a little face. Whenever I go to the aquarium, they all look like they're smiling at you, even though their eyes are like up here. <laughs> and this part looks like a face to me. I also got the first shipment of sticky notes. So everything actually arrived really early this month because I was able to get it to production faster. So here are the sticky notes. I haven't done the quality checking for it yet, but I did run into some issues. This has some marks on it um, because I decided to change the design shortly after I submitted the first draft. Basically what happened was I created the whale as a sticker and then I created the template for the sticky note and I thought that the words were gonna be too much, like they were gonna be too small, it was gonna be hard to see. So I went with a really simple design like this where it's just a whale and I kind of put some clouds and stars and it's very pretty, it's very aesthetic, but I changed my mind because I worked on the art print of this and then I was like, oh, I added like jellyfish and it just felt more cohesive and a little bit more complex and I really liked that. And then I was debating and I thought about the quality of the print for the words and I decided to switch it to include the words so that you guys got that punny touch to it. I like both designs, but... I know that like if you're if you're not like really into whales then this would just be funnier to use so 
I called my manufacturer right after I submitted it and I asked them, hey, is it too late to switch out the design? And they told me it was not because it hadn't gone into production yet. So we were able to switch the file out, but I guess something got mixed up because they still printed this version for me. Um, so I have 50 of these, they're sending me a replacement, and then I have this, which is going to be your monthly stationery club. So they're both really pretty in my opinion, just very different, and um, I will offer this one for people who want it in the shop as well. But I am glad that I switched it out because the words actually look really good. And I don't like designs being too big on sticky notes because... It takes up too much writing space, so it's a bit of a balancing act, and I just don't want it to take over the entire writing space because then it's not as functional. So I think I'm happy with the size. So the art prints also arrived, and sadly, I'm a little bit bummed. You guys will probably know this already because the video will be edited after you guys find out. For the first time, I ordered my art prints through my iPad, and I usually do it on my desktop and uh, I think the settings like got messed up because they have drop down menus and you click like what you want like matte or glossy and whatnot but I, I think I accidentally printed this on a thinner paper so it's still nice but basically there are different settings of thickness and I pay for premium so that it's a little bit like thicker as you guys know but this time I printed on standard which is thicker than their like basic level but it's not as thick as I'd like it to be so that's one and then I printed it on glossy but the funny thing is it actually isn't like as glossy as I thought I actually kind of like it it has like a bit of like um a glaze to it I can't even really explain it and I don't think you guys can tell in the lighting but that I actually like the downfall is that it's not as thick as I want it to be but if you guys are like pinning it up somewhere like it's fine if you frame it it's fine so hopefully you guys are okay with it this month because I got 250 of them and it is totally my fault but we'll see how it goes as a way to say thank you and I'm sorry for messing up the thickness of the art print, I added in an extra sticker for this month. It is this mixed media painting that I made. It is an alpaca astronaut underwater with mini orcas. It makes perfect sense. This month I got some Snoopy themed stamps and they're so cute. I'm so excited to have like different characters on all of them. The funny thing is, I feel like I recognize the characters, but I don't really know their names and I also didn't really grow up watching Snoopy or Charlie Brown content, so I think it's just funny that it's kind of one of those like household cartoons and I don't really even know much about them. But when I saw that they had the characters, especially that one with Woodstock, I was like, oh my gosh, I want to have these for you guys. They're so cute. It would have been really nice if I found aquatic themed ones for this month, but I purchased these months in advance and it just kind of happened that way. So it is what it is. They're so cute. Ideal setup for our Korean drama. You know what I want? I want one of those little folding Asian tables. <laughs> oh, 
just want one of those two. <laughs> that would be perfect because I love being on the floor. And I'm keeping everything off the floor, but I, you know, obviously want better, like, angles. It's kind of perfect because I like drawing on the floor, too. I don't know what it is. It's just more comfortable. Mm-hmm. So while I'm here, I figured I can give you guys some life updates. The past few weeks have been much better for my mental health. I think ever since Safi got the clear about her bone healing correctly, I felt a huge sense of relief. And I've been doing a lot of reflecting just on my mental health and everything. So I decided to start working out a lot more and just committing more of my free time to walking, swimming, even if I'm doing like a short workout at home. I'm going for it because I know that that's going to help with my muscles with my sleep. I always like to use the upcoming and weekend overall, to start packing and preparing stationery club health. awards. So my so sister helped me out really and peeled a bunch of the sticky notes. Of we hung out on the floor in my office really and watched a Korean drama. Nicely we are usually just chatting else. about random like things while I we're doing this, so it's kind of hard for me to pack and talk. And she also doesn't really like talking on camera, like so this is just going to be but a little segment of I don't ASMR. Know. Like that, that's a lot for me to manage too. It's not that I can't do it, it's more like, is that the best way to do it? And um, lately I've been sharing more vlogs with you guys on TikTok. Just like random things like what I did, what I ate, stuff like that. And I feel like you guys enjoy it. So it should be fine on my main TikTok. But a part of me is also really, really interested in doing like a deep dive lifestyle kind of channel, especially on YouTube that's more so dedicated to working out, mental health, that kind of stuff. So it's not necessarily about Gem and Cozy or, you know, sticker designs. Um, yeah. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think because I would love to know your thoughts about it. I'm still kind of up in the air. I've always been this kind of person where I have a lot of ideas. I have a lot of kind of dreams, I should say, and I've always been that way. 
the good thing is I feel like I pursue things relatively quickly if I'm interested in it. But the bad thing is I think I spend a lot of my time thinking about what could be because I have so many ideas and so many thoughts that sometimes it's really overwhelming. So as a sticker in a stationery shop, it's not as bad because if it's like ideas that I have, then at least I can think, okay, this could be turned into a product. But I have so many other interests too. So I used to joke with a lot of my friends and say that I'm kind of like a weird renaissance woman. Like I'm not quite there because I don't really think I have that many skill sets. But I just sort of enjoy the idea of dabbling in everything. So yeah, it's always been a toss up for me. I also really like to travel. A dream that my boyfriend and I have and that we talk about pretty often is this idea of getting to travel together full time. And of course that might be really far away. But I also think that it'd be really cool if I could somehow do art while traveling still. Like maybe I would just do stationary club. I don't know. I think that'd be really awesome. Of course my dog, Safi, would definitely get in the way of that unless we end up in like a camper or something and we just end up doing hiking or something like that. But then I feel really bad thinking about leaving her in the car while we go like explore a city or eat. So I feel like my whole life revolves around my dog and that makes it really tricky. <laughs> but that would be so fun. My boyfriend doesn't really like being on camera or anything like that. I don't think I would mind, but right now I've kind of taken the back seat with making content with my face in it. Although recently I did start adding myself into random TikToks, which has been kind of fun. For today's workout, I did a fitness martial 30 minute dance workout. He is so funny, guys, if you've ever seen his workout videos. I kind of have to be in the right mood for it because he's so, so playful that sometimes, like, I'm too stuck in my head to enjoy being really, really liberated and silly with him. But today it was really fun, and I've never seen a 30-minute video for him. It's usually, like, shorter, so I think it was a live stream and that was pretty fun. And then, in addition to walking Safi, usually two to three times a day, I also went swimming earlier, and I definitely wasn't really in the mood to swim, but I'm kind of pushing myself to just go and get the serotonin and the endorphins, and I'm glad I did that. I wish I could record more of those moments, but sometimes if I'm just like enjoying the moment and talking to my sister or something, I'm not going to whip out my phone, so it is what it is, but I really like my neighborhood pool. I'm going to miss it so much because it's very likely that the next neighborhood I live in is not going to have a neighborhood pool, and I just feel really grateful because the one that I have right now is very, very quiet. Typically, there's only one family there at a time, and if you go in the afternoon, there's like no one there since I work from home. So I can go at odd hours, which makes it really, really convenient. So I'm taking full advantage of that while I'm still in this neighborhood. I got 13,000 steps today, which is amazing. So I'm really proud of myself and I've been feeling much better with more exercise. I'm also doing something different because I'm pretty sure I have a gluten intolerance. I, it's not official or anything, but I've always noticed that I like have a lot of bloating and discomfort from certain foods and I don't really do well if I eat a lot of carbs. And there's like that common misconception that carbs are just bread, but it's sugar. So any candy, sugary products, as well as bread. And a lot of wheat products like barley, things like 
ear. That kind of stuff does not sit well with me. So I need to make an appointment to see my doctor for my annual anyway, and I'll probably ask them for more information about it. But I've been taking the initiative to just cut down on a lot of those foods. I didn't permanently like just take it out entirely of my diet because that's kind of hard going cold turkey. But limiting it already has made such a difference. My body feels so much lighter and sometimes I would just get so tired from eating certain food. Like I would kind of bloat and then like basically feel very, very heavy like food coma. And it's not like normal to like, oh, I ate a lot because <laughs> I don't really eat really big portions. So I knew that that was like weird and didn't make any sense. So I feel like I'm just going through a lot of uh, changes right now, but good changes. And the nice thing is that if I do cut down on gluten, that is a sensitivity. It's not something that I have to cut out of my diet that's like actually good for me. It's all bad for me for the most part anyway. And I do have a major sweet tooth, so it is kind of nice to be watchful and restrict myself from eating too much sugar. <laughs> Looks like my battery is low and I only have two more envelopes left, so I am going to cut it off there. It is Friday and I'm just about done packing all of the stationery club rewards, but I like to combine as many of the existing orders with them. So if you guys ordered around the same time stationery club is shipping out, I try to combine them so that you guys get faster tracking and shipping. So I'm headed out to grab some lunch with a friend and then go to the post.